In this video, we're going to focus on the background color gradient diagonal. And this is a part of the Chart.js background color series. So, with the diagonal, it's basically very similar if you understand all the basic metrics that we have so far, or meaning the, the values and understanding of the structuring here. So let's start and explore this. All right, so we have this here, and what I want to do before even, we continue on we had this one here and i realized we should have the background color here active as well so what i'm going to do here i'll say here the fill push make sure you use a comma fill and then we say true the moment we do this refresh we have a filler here and i realized that we should have all positive numbers then the bottom will be completely filled nicely although this does look can look quite nice as well but in our case it's not very clear what's going on here so I'm going to put in here, I'm going to move all the negative digits here. So we have a nice design here. All right, so that looks nice. And what we're going to do here now, and I'm going to put in some higher values as well, 15, 13, 16, all right, and refresh again. So we have all of these numbers here. So what we're going to do now is the following. What I want to do is because you can see here, some of these parts are not really as desirable. What we have to do is we have to push this a little bit more down, but also we can do here diagonal effects meaning we could go for example from this angle and then we color it like this from left to right but also up to down so we have it all together to do this we must again adjust here the settings in the arguments or in the parameters and you understand these are the parameters that we have or argument values so what we're going to do here is the following while we're going from top to bottom but left to right what we have to do is here zero but then we have here as well zero, meaning we're going to start here in the corner, zero, zero. So for X and Y, starting point zero is here in the corner. And then we say, we already know the width and the height. So we say here the width will be 700, while the height is 350, which is already set here exactly this. And now if you refresh, you can see we get a slightly diagonal effect coming from here. It starts with green and then it moves to red and then to blue. So this is a way to do this with basically it's not really 100% diagonal and the reason why is it's well it moves a line it doesn't create what we call a radial effect that's probably the right term there's another command for that and I will show you later on as well so let's play around with this a little bit more before we continue on so let's say instead of 700 we want to have a width of 500 we move this here you can see here what's happening is basically the effect here this is 500, but then it goes down here and this starts to adjust. What we could do as well is, of course, we can adjust this to a different position. We can say here, maybe we do this 500 and we do here 350. Then we put in here zero and see what happens. If I save this and refresh. You can see here now what really happens is, let's double check here. Pay attention to the colors. The colors is basically flipped. There you are. So what is happening is basically now we adjust the colors to exactly in the opposite direction. And with this, you can move it in any other corner. We could put it in a different position, but it does not matter so much. You could put this here, and then we say this will be uh, 350. Then at that moment, we flip it again, but in a different position. Basically, it starts now down here, or, or the effect will start immediately, but it changes all around. However, this can be useful is it useful it really depends i believe the other one the top to bottom is the most practical one especially for line charts and for bar charts as well and there are other ways with radial and i will cover that in the next video thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart yes check out in the description box, the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.